What's going on everyone? Good morning. Today is episode two of the shredding series and it's day five of me cutting for my photo shoot. So I have a black coffee here. I just got done with 30 minutes on the elliptical upstairs. So right now I'm doing every other day cardio and I'm doing right at 30 minutes on the elliptical and the step mill. So I'll just swap out. Uh, anytime I go to the gym, I'll do the step mill. And when I'm here at the house in the morning, I will do the elliptical. And the reason why I didn't go to the step mill today at the gym is because gas has just gotten way too high. No, I'm kidding, but seriously, gas is ridiculous. So I'm gonna do a full day of eating while I'm on this cut. So I'm gonna have all the calories and macros that I'm aiming for right here on the screen. And of course, we gotta start off with breakfast. Good morning, Brady. Good morning. All right, so breakfast is made and Brady's joining us today. What are you eating? Oatmeal. Oatmeal? Yeah. You got some fruit? Look what Shelby made Brady last night. It's a nice little breakfast meal, healthy breakfast meal for a kid. You got oatmeal, we have eggs, you have strawberries and blueberries. So what daddy's eating today is the Kodiak pancakes, protein pancakes. I have two servings of that and then I have right at a serving of Greek yogurt, the triple zero Greek yogurt. I have the Greek yogurt pretty much every single day. It's very high in protein, low in carbs and zero fat. So I'm gonna have the macros and calories up on the screen right here. Eat your food. <clears throat> He's just staring straight <laughs> at the camera. Oh, and by the way, I eat these Kodiak cakes completely dry. I don't put anything on, no syrup at all. And then I eat them by holding them kind of like a pizza instead of with a fork or anything. They're pretty dry, but I like that. That's the reason why I put them in the waffle maker instead of making them as pancakes because it makes them like firm up a little bit more because I have them as pancakes. They're really soft. Baby girl. Spit out that passy. You don't need that passy. Spit that passy out. There you go. All right, you ready to go? Let's go. Hi. So now Shelby has the kids outside playing with them for a little bit and I'm upstairs gonna finish some work before I have to head off to the gym. So this morning I woke up at 193 pounds, so I'm two pounds down since I started this whole entire cut and it's only been five days. So I started the diet on Sunday, today is Thursday. Now I'm gonna give myself uh, till Sunday, so it's gonna be a week of dieting. I'm gonna see where I'm at in order to know what I need to do to up the progress because I only have now by Sunday, it will be only three weeks to get ready for this shoot, and that is absolutely no time to get shredded. So I'm gonna have to do some dramatic things in order for me to look good uh, for that photo shoot because looking over the footage, when I look in the mirror, I don't think I look that bad, but then when I watch all my physique updates on the camera, I'm telling you, I do not like what I see as far as being ready for a photo shoot. I like for where I was at on the off season because I was pretty lean, I'm pretty lean, but for photo shoot shape, I'm nowhere near lean enough for me to do a shoot. So I have a lot of work to do. Having lunch outside, Brady? Yeah. What are you eating? What is all that? Animal cookies. Animal crackers, you got grapes, apples, strawberries, cheese. Uh, pepperoni, crackers, Kinley, yum, no, is it good? No, no, it is, <laughs> that's cheese. That's cheese, yeah, yum. That's more cheese. Daddy did so well at preparing this. Yeah. So this may not look very appetizing, but let me tell you, it is super good. Shelby made these stuffed bell peppers yesterday for dinner. She used uh, turkey meat, it's got quinoa in there, black beans, and a little bit of cheese. And what I'm gonna do for lunch, I'm gonna put this on a low carb wrap. So I have one of these uh, high fiber extreme wellness wraps. So I'm gonna just stick this baby on top of there. And then I'm also, I'm gonna squish that up a little bit. And then I'm also gonna add a little bit of lettuce to this. And for this bell pepper, Shelby said it's around 300. 
So I almost dropped this camera all over again. At least it didn't go off the counter like it did uh, the other time I was filming. So Shelby said it's around 350 uh, calories. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of lettuce to this and this is gonna be lunch. This is gonna be very fun to figure out how to fold this sucker, but I'll make it work. It's gonna be like a Chipotle burrito. There we go. Oh yeah, that's fine. So in my last video, I got a comment and this guy said that I need to interview Shelby and ask her how she feels about me being on prep. So what's your thoughts on it? Not good. Not good? Not good. <laughs> so she has been uh, with me since I first started prepping, like my very first contest, uh, we were dating and all my photo shoots, she's been with me throughout every single one. And I mean, what do you have to say about it? You just don't like it? Like, He's not his best self. Um, yeah, attitude wise. And I'm, I would consider I'm probably uh, one of the mild ones. That can't be true. That is so true. <laughs> that is so true because I don't have drugs to help me. A lot of people well, have know, but... roid rage is what they call it. So on top of them dieting. You don't and have top... rage. You don't no, have I don't rage. have rage at all. You are, um, you Irritable. have a short fuse. Yeah. Irritable. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. So. Like really, really minor things just irritate him he doesn't he's not a person that yells at all like ever so that's not no. it's not that um it's just he gets even quieter honestly he's like doesn't want to talk and he's just overall irritated and tired yeah i'm very just quiet doesn't feel good yeah and i don't feel like getting up and moving around and doing anything like i literally just want to go work out get done with my workouts go lay on the couch and pretty much do nothing and things that I would normally talk about and you talk with her about, I just don't even feel like talking because at a certain point, it doesn't want to expend energy on just, you know, regular brain thoughts. Just talking to your wife, it doesn't <laughs> want to do that. That hurts I'm a like, whole lot. Okay, rude, but I'm especially worried about this one, honestly, because he's never prepped with kids before. Like you've only prepped once with Brady and he was really young and not at all since then and definitely not since Kinley. And so like what we used to do um, before kids when he was prepping and would get to that stage is like, we'd go see a movie and just relax together and just like not talk. And now Brady for sure is not gonna allow us not to talk because that's all he does. And Kinley's not gonna be cool with not getting attention. So it's just, Overall, yeah, it's, it's going to be hard. It's going to be a learning process for sure. For us and the kids. Well, thank you for your time. <laughs> so today is everyone's favorite muscle group day. Today is legs. No, I'm just kidding. Most people don't like legs. I actually like working legs a whole lot if my knees aren't hurting and if my hips aren't hurting. It seems like one or the other always has to happen. I always have to have some kind of injury when it comes to uh, working legs. So I'm going ahead and prepping my supplements for after my workout. And the reason why I'm showing you this is because this is gonna be part of my calories for the day. I'm gonna take a scoop and a half of this whey plus muscle builder. So this is protein with creatine in it. So the scoop and a half will be 45 grams of protein and four and a half grams of creatine. And then for pre-workout, I'm taking the Shatter Elite by Muscle Tech. One of the best pre-workouts they make. They also have the new Shatter Ripped, which is really good as well. I'm just about done with that whole container, so that's the reason why I'm not taking it today. And then after my workout, I'm thinking I'm gonna do another maybe 15 to 20 minutes of cardio because I just have to push myself for these three and a half weeks. Sitting out in my car trying to get motivation to go in there and kill some legs. I'm sipping on my pre-workout. Anytime I get to the gym, I just sit out here in the car for around, I don't know, five, sometimes even like 10 minutes just to like get my head around the workout, start thinking of exercises that I'm gonna do because I don't have exact workouts when I go to the gym. A lot of people think I have it all written down and already planned out, I don't. I go in there and do whatever feels good. So if I'm doing an exercise and it doesn't feel great, I'll move to another exercise. And if I start off with an exercise that feels really good, then I'll do a lot of sets on that. So every single workout of mine is always different. Okay, let's go in there and kill this workout.
Well, what's going on everyone? Uh, you might notice I'm in different clothes here because this is an entirely different day. This is not the workout I did on this particular day and I wanted to give you a full leg workout. I'll explain the reason why I'm not showing you that full workout because it really wasn't a full workout. So I'll explain after this commentary, but let's go ahead and give you this full leg workout that I did five days ago. So the very first exercise is leg extensions. I did five sets of 12 to 15 reps and the last set did a double drop set. After that went into barbell squats. I did four sets of 10 reps and I forgot my squatting shoes. And let me tell you, it was a big mistake because squatting with these Adidas Ultra Boost is not great to squat in when you use heavy weight because I did not feel very stable down at the bottom of that squat. So I'd highly recommend getting either Converse or some kind of shoes that you feel really stable in. After that, went into split squats using the Shrug Machine. I did four sets, a 10 to 12 reps on the last set, didn't do any drop sets or anything like that. Now, I've never done split squats using this machine before, but let me tell you, if your gym has one, I would give this a try because it felt amazing. After that, went into stiff leg deadlifts, four sets, a 10 to 12 reps. On the last set, I did do a single drop set, and I was using the shrug machine for the stiff legs as well, and that felt really, really good. The gym was really packed on this day, so I didn't want to go around and wait on equipment uh, for a long time. After that, went into seated calf raises, superset with donkey calf raises. I did four sets of both for 10 to 12 reps. On the last set of both of these exercises, I did a single drop set. Now we're gonna go pretty fast through the workout that I did on this particular day. And it's only four exercises for legs. It's two exercises for uh, quads and hamstrings and two exercises for calves. And then we focused on abs. And you'll know the reason why after this commentary. So the very first exercise I did was Smith Machine Reverse Lunges. I did four sets of 10 to 12 reps. After that, went into leg extensions. And this is where I did a ton of volume. I did six sets of around 12 to 15 reps on the last set did a triple drop set after that went into a super set for calves I did seated calf raises uh, right at four sets of 12 to 15 reps super set with standing calf raises for around 10 to 12 reps and then after that went into a circuit workout for abs I did hanging leg raises into decline sit-ups and then into medicine ball Russian twist I did those three exercises back to back now I would do all those together and then I would rest for around 60 seconds and then I did four rounds of that. Well, that's the end of the workouts. If you wanna give the first workout a try, it'll be written down in the description box. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the rest of the video. Uh, well, that workout was highly, highly disappointing. Gosh, so the first exercise I was doing, I felt my hamstring kinda like start hurting a little bit. So. Uh, the last workout I did for legs was this past Sunday and the very last exercise I did was split squats and then I started to feel like a little tug in my hamstring and it felt exactly after getting done with the workout it felt exactly uh, like when I pulled my hamstring about a year ago with my brothers I was doing some uh, track sprints and I pulled my hamstring and it felt exactly like that. Well, I got home, told Shelby about it, and then the next day didn't feel anything. Like I didn't hurt at all. I thought everything was fine. Well, today, going in there, the very first exercise, it started hurting again. And it was hurting so bad that I couldn't do any other exercises besides the Smith Machine lunges. And then I just did some leg extensions because, you know, of course that's not working any hamstrings. And then I worked calves and then abs. So that workout was pretty much pathetic. And I'm gonna be in a bad mood because anytime I have a bad workout, I just don't feel great. I don't feel like I accomplished much. But I'm hoping that this is nothing serious. I don't think I tore anything because no bruising or anything like that, but I probably just strained it this past Sunday and then didn't give it enough time to heal because I've been doing all this cardio. So thinking I need to give my legs probably at least a week break before I try to work them again. So I just got done spending my hard earned money on gas. It's just so expensive and I live in Texas and so it's the cheapest like in the United States but it's still wicked high. And now I'm about to go in the grocery store to spend the rest of my money. Hey kids, hey. you driving? Just got home <laughs> and they're all outside. You driving your car? Yeah. I like your white car, it looks like dad. Yeah. 
Bye, Kinley. She wants you <laughs> Bye bye. So I just spent a fortune on groceries. I couldn't even fit it in my trunk. <laughs> oh my gosh. And of course, right on top, you got the cereal. Of course, I had to get some more cereal. So the reason why I stocked up on groceries, not because I think there's gonna be a shortage, but I do believe the groceries are gonna go up in price. So I went ahead and got a ton of meat and a lot of canned vegetables and some fruit, stuff like that. Anything that's gonna go up in price in the next like week or two, I thought it'd be smart to kind of like stock up on it. So I know this is a full day of eating while on this cut, but I haven't done much eating whatsoever because the gym I was there for maybe an hour and a half. It was a terrible gym session, but after that I went to the grocery store and that took forever. So now we're eating dinner and this is what now? Crock-Pot Ranch Chicken. So it has potatoes, onions, and chicken of course, and carrots. It looks amazing. I'll have all the macros and calories up on the screen. I need to figure out where I'm at right now because I haven't calculated it all in my fitness pal and I don't think I'm anywhere close to my goal, but later on I'll calculate it and let you guys know. Oh, yum, Kinley. That looks delicious. Brady, is it good? Yeah. So what were you saying? So the ranch flavor is the ranch. ranch seasoning packet. Yeah, it's so like it's not like ranch. <laughs> <laughs> because of course, that wouldn't be on my diet. Yeah, 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 my black car. Amen. 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 What a good prayer. So now we're sitting in the living room watching some Wally for the 10th or 15th time this week because he is into Wally right now. Brady is. So he swaps movies every so often and then he'll watch the mess out of them, then get bored of it, and then switch to something else. So right now we're on a big Wally kick. So I figured up all my calories in my fitness pal. And by the way, guys, that's the app I calculate all my calories in. It is something that I've been using for years, probably what, 10, eight years? It's been a very long time. Probably 10, yeah. 10 years. And it's super easy to use. That's the reason why I use it. So right now I'm at 1,621 calories. I know that is very, very low, but today wasn't that hard of a workout day because my legs started hurting. So I only did like two quad movements and then I only did two calf movements and then abs. So it wasn't very taxing today. Now I will have one more meal, which is gonna be like Greek yogurt. I'll show you what that is after the kids go to bed, mixed with some protein powder. So that will probably be around 500 more calories. So it's gonna be total maybe around 2000 calories today. I would not recommend doing this diet for anyone being this low in calories because when I was trying to build muscle, I was around 3000 calories a day, maybe 26 to 3000 calories. And I'm cutting it real low right now because I only have three and a half weeks to get ready for this photo shoot. So it's gonna take a whole lot for me to get that lean. And 2,000 calories, maybe even 1,700 calories some days, I'm gonna have to really kill myself, but it's something that I got to do in order for me to get that lean that quickly. So I do wanna clarify real quick that when I say kill myself, you know, of course I don't really mean kill myself. This is something that I can do very easy. Now I'm very blessed. This is something that I choose to do. So I'm not complaining at all. It just, it is hard for someone my size to go down to 2000 calories, 15, 1700 calories when you're used to eating around 26 to 3000 calories a day. And when you do this much activity, like I'll be doing cardio for at least 30 minutes, basically every other day to every day. And then on top of that, I work out for an hour and a half to two hours a day. So it's very taxing, but like I said, it's something that I'm choosing to do. So I'm not complaining there. I'm just saying it is tough. So it's nine o'clock, so that means both kids are about to go to bed, but I need to show you my last meal, so I'm not gonna end the video here. So I'm not gonna let the kids end the video just yet. Kenley's gonna start crying because she knows anytime I get her around this time, it means I'm gonna take her to bed. Kenley, don't start crying. Brady, come here. Tell my camera bye. Say bye bye. Bye bye. Say, say peace. Say see you later. See you later. All right, peace, hit the camera. Don't punch it, don't punch it hard. Oh, he reared back, I thought he was about to nail it. So now that the kids are off to bed, I wanna to talk to you about something. So people ask me, what is better? Do a longer cut or do a fast dramatic cut like I'm doing right now in the four weeks? And I always tell people the longer is better. Now I would say don't do any more than a 20 
week cut if you're trying to do like a contest prep. Now, if you're trying to lose a lot of body fat, like if you're really overweight, yeah, you can do it longer than that. But I'm talking about like getting into contest shape or photo shoot shape. You really don't wanna go over 20 weeks because if you go like over 20 weeks, you're gonna go mentally crazy trying to slowly go into a contest or a photo shoot. Like just changing macros up just like a tiny bit each week gets very tedious and it gets very annoying. So I would say anywhere from like 16 weeks out and then lower in my opinion. Now if you need more than 16 weeks to get ready for a photo shoot or contest, in my opinion, you did not do the off season correctly. You wanna stay in kind of like a lean bulk when you're bulking, you don't wanna to get too heavy where it's gonna take you 20 weeks to get ready for a contest. For me, I like to stay around 10 to 15% body fat. For a lot of people, uh, they like to stay at 20 below. Now for me, that is really heavy. When I got to 15, right above 15%, I felt horrible. Like my workout started to suffer a whole lot. I did not have a lot of energy and I just couldn't control my body weight that much. I went rock climbing one time and I remember being that heavy and I could not control my body weight like I used to and I just hated it. So I said, never again will I get that heavy during the off season. So I try to keep my off season pretty lean so that I don't have to do a really long cut because the longer you do a cut, the more potential you have in losing muscle mass. Now talking about losing muscle mass, during this four weeks doing a dramatic cut, that's another reason why I don't like doing a dramatic cut is because you run the risk of losing muscle mass during this time. And that's the last thing I want to do is lose muscle mass because for the past two years now, I've been doing my lean bulk. I've been trying to build as much muscle as possible and me being a natural athlete, it is very hard to build muscle. It's just part of being a natural athlete. You have to be used to seeing very little to no progress year after year, which is depressing. But I'm still gaining muscle, which is incredible because I watched videos of me working out a couple of years ago and stuff, and and I'm definitely bigger now, so I still see results year after year. So that says a lot as far as my workouts and everything, how hard I work that I'm able to still build muscle because a lot of the times, natural athletes will hit a plateau a long time ago. So I really do have to watch it these last four weeks so that I don't lose a lot of muscle size because if I was enhanced, now that's a different situation there because they can keep their muscle size a whole lot better than natural athletes. And then on top of that, your energy levels are just so bad when you have to cut down this quickly. So Shelby thinks I can't do this in one take. She's over there eating her last meal of the night and I'm disturbing her, right? Yes. I'm gonna do this in one take, okay? Mm -hmm. So this is the last meal of the night. I have a serving of the Greek yogurt, the triple zero Greek yogurt in here with a serving of blueberries or half, I can't remember that's half a serving. It's not a full serving of blueberries. It's like half a serving of blueberries, half a serving of chocolate chips. Now I mix the Greek yogurt and half a scoop of this Muscle Tech whey protein powder, vanilla flavor, and it tastes really good. So that's the last thing I'm gonna be eating. And for the total calories for the day is 1,878. Not that high whatsoever, but like I said, when I'm only three and a half weeks out, this is what I got to do in order for me to get uh, lean enough. And then for macros, I got 209 grams of protein, carbs is 199, and fat is 33. But guys, that's going to conclude the video. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. All right, guys, peace. 300. Oh my gosh, there's the camera again. Good morning, Brady. Uh, can't use that in the vlog again. Give me something good, come on. We're gonna reenact this, okay? I'm gonna shut the door, I'm gonna open the door, and you're gonna say good morning to me, okay? Here we go. Good morning, Brady. Good morning. Told you.